Hey guys, today we are going to test the Stay Cool UGO skill. This skill has two effects, the Battle Experience 4, that add additional damage according to the number of hits when you attack, and the Icy Shield 4, that adds a buff, a defense buff when you use the switch. So we're going to focus on the Battle Experience 4 today to see like how much additional damage we can get with the number of hits. But before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe for more SAO Integral Factor content. So we are using Leafa's account again today since I don't have the skills. And you can see a normal attack now is hitting 700 damage, around 700 damage. And I'll try one more time, I think, or a few more. Let's see. So that's 690. So we're going to just uh, compare it with the first uh, attack the first animation attack. So the reason that I'm taking a uh, delay before I do another hit is that I'm just making sure that it doesn't already add additional damage based on the number of uh, hits there. So if I keep it at hit, uh, one hit. And then we're just starting to do the combo, the hit, uh, just accumulating the number of hits here. And as you can see, my attack uh, with the first animation is already doing an increased damage to the enemy and the enemy that I'm testing here is again is the wasp that is not weak to slash okay and around 90 hits my attack is hitting 1500 already here and there is a attack buff on me that's why my attack is jumping out to 1700 already but as the attack buff is going away it seems like it's still doing that 1700 so uh, we'll keep going a little bit more and see how much damage increase uh, we're getting oh I guess yeah it was 1700 because I was uh, hitting a squirrel that is weak to slash hmm. right, going back to the wasp uh, it's it's staying at 1500 and it seems like it's the same as when we have around 90 to 100 hits there so I think this skill has the same trait as the Dark Swordman Kirito the effect seems to max out at 100 hit and it gets my damage up to 1500 damage on the enemy that's not weak to slash which in this case is this wasp so that means that it's adding around 800 additional damage so when we're talking about additional damage here, as you know from my previous video, the additional damage have will be um, multiplied by the weapon weakness and the elemental weakness. So in this case, I am fighting the enemy that is not weak to the element. That's why the additional damage is maxed out at 800. But if you uh, check out my other video, which I will give it on the link uh, below, you'll notice that if I fight the uh, enemy that is weak to the elemental then the additional damage will be multiplied by the 50% uh, so it's like the weapon elemental weakness there so potentially the 800 damage could max out to 1600 additional damage when you fight against the enemy that is weak to the weapon and the element so um, now I'm just going to repeat the same process before because you didn't catch what number uh, the damage will maxed out at. So I have 100 hits here, then it started to hit 1500 as you can see there. And that 1500 is the maximum that we got. So it got a little bit higher than that, but I think that's just the damage variation from the weapon. And so we can say that uh, at 100 hits, then it stops adding the additional damage. And it stops at 1500 against the enemy that is not weak to the slash element then and for reference this is the skill set that i have for the previous uh, test which my attack is at 2047 and i'm going to try to max out my attack uh, that gets it to 2796 and we'll see how much damage does it do against the same enemy and see if we can match the additional damage that you get there so uh well, I guess I shouldn't have recorded that, but I'm just 
getting some mushrooms so that uh, the HP maxed out because one of the skills there have an effect that if 99% and I get more attack and as you can see actually my attack got up to 3100 and the situations and it keeps on saying that my attack but it's actually on Lifa's account <laughs> anyway uh, let's hit this uh, enemy it only gets my attack up to like say 1000 so it's not close enough to get it to the same uh, as when we have the full effect of the stay cool UGO skill there so to summarize uh, the stay cool UGO skill can add additional damage up to 800 points to the enemy who are not weak to the weapon we know from the previous test that additional damage will be multiplied by the weapon elements uh, and element weakness so it can get up to 1600 with both weakness and more if you have a skill that increase the weakness damage the additional damage stop increasing after around 100 hits. This skill works especially well with the Underworld Swordman Yujio, since it has defense debuff and can stack up to 30% defense, and we don't have any passive that can give defense buff that high other than Blast Lispeth. So that is it. I'll see you in the next SAO Integral Factor video. Bye now.